guys and the back at it again for another video and it is finally time to go ahead and do an analysis video on star versus the forces of evil battle of beauty trailer 2 and oh my god there is so many crazy things going on in this trailer that of course we had to go ahead and do an analysis video this is my first analysis video that i've ever really done so i hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's get right on to it come on Alright, so first things first, of course, we start off with this scene right over here, and already there's a couple things to go ahead and notice. As you can clearly tell with Romulus and Hecapu, they're kind of floating up in the air like a balloon star has them tied up and everything like that. And of course, the reason they are floating is because basically they, they had all the magic drained out of them. Of course, you don't see the Chancellor, the goat guy over there, because, you know, he was healing everybody else, and he ended up turning into dust. But of course, Queen Moon managed to basically grab all his remains and put it in, like, I forget what it was called, but like, like one of the chancellor's horns and as we can clearly see queen moon is still damaged and all that stuff from that fight that she had with toffee and one thing to note about star right over here is that yes she does seem to have a few scars on her face and another important detail is the fact that she does have marco's hoodie now i'm going to assume she probably has the hoodie kind of like as a little keepsake to kind of remind her of the time she spent on earth and with marco and all that stuff so boom that's that scene right over here Alright, then we go ahead and we enter this scene right over here. Now, if we go ahead and pay attention to what the actual trailer was saying, Queen Moon was saying that this is a place where all the queens of Muni used to come over here. And boom, there's quite a couple things to notice right over here. It seems to be that we're in some type of temple kind of looking thing, because we have all these statues. And one thing to note about the statues is, of course, that it does resemble Glossaric uh, quite a bit. As we all know, Glossaric is literally the goat of Star vs. The Force of Evil. He has been around from generation to generation. He has been around with all the previous queens of muni so yeah glossaric is a pretty old dude now one thing to note in particular is that in the middle there seems to be this kind of little staircase leading up to this crystal piece right over here a crystal that is very similar to that of the one that glossaric has and of course we know that romulus was the one that gave glossaric the crystal in the first place so i'm just gonna go out here on a limb and take a guess that perhaps this is a place of healing which is why star is carrying hecapu and romulus and all that stuff perhaps that crystal can go ahead and heal everybody if not maybe perhaps bring back the chancellor that would he can go ahead and revive everyone this is all guesses and theories right over here but boom we clearly have the secret temple that is probably only known to the queens themselves next up of course we have some images right over here we see star falling into like a puddle of mud or something we see a frog and of course we see star saying like ribbit back to the frog and i'm going to assume that these are all scenes which end up leading to this right over here where we see buff frog and queen moon over here talking together now i find this pretty darn interesting i wasn't really expecting to see buff frog anytime sooner at all honestly so i find that pretty darn interesting so i'm wondering if they are perhaps going to buff frog as like kind of a place to kind of recuperate for a little bit like stay in the shadows because things are going on there's war and all this stuff or perhaps you know queen moon is trying to get as much information about toffee as possible because as we know buff frog and toffee kind of did work somewhat together while well, they were in the same castle and all that stuff when ludo was in charge and everything like that so boom buff frog is going to be making his return so perhaps maybe that frog that star was kind of like talking to or whatever was was one of buff frog's kids i mean it's quite a possibility but it's pretty interesting to see that buff frog is going to be making his return in this two hour movie now moving on we got star kind of creeping on marco right over here and as we can see marco it looks pretty darn depressed not looking too good my boy marco right over here maybe jackie dumped him or ultimately i think it's just because he's sad because you know star is gone and we can kind of see star sitting in the middle here cluttered with a bunch of stuff and in the video itself it is shaking so perhaps there's an earthquake or or maybe she's in some type of wagon type of thing and we do see that she does have Marco's hoodie on and all that stuff so ah uh, <laughs> poor star and poor Marco man I hope things turn out well for them at the end all right next we have quite a few things right over here if we pay attention to the trailer itself you know star goes ahead and say I didn't blow up my whole life just so you can go ahead and give up and Queen Moon goes on to say like listen it's just too dangerous so if we backtrack real quick and look at these image right over here we can see that star does have quite a bit of scars on her her dress is a little bit messy up and the one thing to know in particular is that Marco's hoodie seems to have been ripped to shreds kind of she only has that one little piece tied to her arm right over there so rip Marco's jacket and everything
everything like that. And then we go ahead and we see Queen Moon right over here. She's kind of has like a serious kind of face on. Like, listen, stuff is too dangerous. Things are going on right over here. And one thing to note again is that Star didn't really have her wand with her. So perhaps when she said, I didn't blow up my whole life, maybe she blew up her wand. Yeah, I don't really think so. I, I think that was just a little figurative of speech. When Star says, I didn't blow up my whole life, I think she just meant that like, you know, her whole time on Earth and Summer and all that stuff right over here. But if we go ahead and look at this image right over here, boom, we can see that Queen Moon is being attacked by these vines. And we see that Star has a purple kind of hat on, so perhaps they were in disguise, because if we go ahead and look at this image right over here, we can see some skeleton looking thing behind Star. So boom, quite interesting, you know, who knows what the evil vine is, maybe it's part of Toffee, maybe it's some of Ludo's magic, or again, it could be, you know, just the forces of evil. It's called Star versus the forces of evil for a reason right over here, so boom, pretty darn interesting. Moving right along, of course, we see our girl Mina right over here, and, and the one thing to note about Mina, of course, is that she kind of looks, you know, sane. She looks pretty normal. She looks pretty stable. Not like the first time that we ever saw her, and of course, we do see her in the intro. She's still kind of a little cuckoo over here, but here we can clearly see that she is in her right state of mind, so this leads me to assume, assume that perhaps this is a flashback type of thing. She does say that we need to get ready for war, or unless she is stable right now, but if she was stable, why would she be really looking crazy in the intro? Show, you know what I'm saying so I'm not really too sure if this is perhaps in the past or perhaps it's in the present day because if we move right along from this of course we go ahead and see Star's father the king and Marco leading a charge and then we go ahead and we move to Ludo the eagle the spider and the rats so it looks like they are gonna go ahead and collide with each other all right, so next up we see Hecapoo right over here, and this is where the interesting stuff comes along right over here. The reason why I said I feel as though Mina was in the past is because if we look over here at Romulus, one thing to note in particular is of course that he has both his crystal nipples, <laughs> I said nipples, but no, in all seriousness, he does have both his uh, nipples right over there, and of course, as you may recall, he gave one of them to Star, and we have Hecapoo talking about signing the peace treaty. Now, when I hear the word peace treaty, I'm thinking a couple things. Perhaps it could be a peace treaty between Tom coffee or perhaps as we all know from uni the independence day i believe it was called basically it was the battle between the munis and the monsters that was from like season one episode 11 we never really got to find out the gaps other than the fact that you know the munis won and the monsters lost so, so perhaps that could be the peace treaty that they are talking about so if we look at the next few images right over here as we can see it looks like ludo has actually done it he, we can see that he does have star's father's crown on him we see that star Star's dad is in prison saying that like you know you will never be king and Ludo goes on to say like say goodbye to your freedom so it looks like Ludo was actually able to take the throne which is pretty crazy you know because throughout this whole thing we don't really see Toffee except for this one scene that we'll be checking out later but boom I'm wondering if Ludo is perhaps faking the fact that he doesn't know about Toffee I feel as though maybe Ludo and Toffee kind of have like a secret agreement going on but we'll just have to wait and find out to see what goes down all right, so now we got this image right over here, and man, this is just creepy right over here. You can see the reflection of moon and star from Ludo's eye, so oh my god, this guy's in a whole other world right over here. And we can see, I'm not too sure if that's Queen Moon holding on to him, but if we go in the background, we can see they are in this type of crater type of thing. Perhaps it is the kingdom that is destroyed, or if you recall back from one of the earlier promos, Ludo was doing some type of magic, and there was this big explosion. That could perhaps be the crater that Ludo was kind of working up the magic with. And then if we go ahead and move on to these scenes right over here star saying like listen i beat him once i can beat him before and we can go ahead and note that star's wand is green so perhaps toffee is doing some type of magic or you know this could just be a reflection of stars like emotions right now because as we know whenever she gets angry or like jealous or envy or something like that the wand usually turns green now we kind of get to the crazy stuff right over here uh where moon goes on to explain that you know toffee had killed her mother and oh my god if you saw my reaction video to this you know i was kind of freaked freaking out and then we see star over here and we're like oh crap yeah he does sound pretty dangerous now like i said before in my reaction video I don't think that Toffee per se killed Queen Moon's mom. I feel as though it's one of those things where Toffee kind of tricked Queen Moon into doing something which ultimately led to Queen Moon's mom's uh, death or perhaps Queen Moon's mom and Toffee just battled it out like crazy and you know Queen Moon's mom just ended up getting defeated and Toffee was victorious. 
And then from there, the trailer just goes really, really fast. So one thing that we can clearly see is now that Marco, you know, is probably most likely in Muni. Everyone's like, what do we do now? And Marco's like, well, now we fight. So I'm going to assume they managed to escape, you know, avoid getting captured like Star's father did. And we can clearly see the other guy that's there who sung the song. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. But boom, then we go ahead and we see the scene continues. We, we see Star fighting some of the rats from, you know, Ludo's army. Then we go ahead and see Ludo himself practicing some of his magic with the book of spells and you know the book of spells are there so you know where the heck is Glossary? it's funny because you don't see glossary in this thing whatsoever so that's pretty darn interesting then we go ahead and move on we see marco you know putting on some of those little lines on his cheek you know he's ready to rumble it's time for some action then we go ahead and we see mina right over here now it looks like she's perhaps interrogating somebody because you know we can see that the monster or whoever that is is chained up and you know mina is pretty serious she was even whipping the dude or girl uh with her hair which is pretty darn funny perhaps mina is trying to get information from this person about toffee or again you know it you know could be about the battle between the munis and the monsters the trailer continues and we can clearly see right over here moon staff is being consumed by darkness perhaps from the greatest spell that she created or perhaps you know it could be coming from eclipsa but if we move on to this image right over here oh my god this is where things get intense we can clearly see toffee right over here coming from like these curtains of skeletons and one thing to go ahead and note like i mentioned before in my reaction video is that you can clearly see it on his shoulder pads right over here here with the skeletons he does have one symbol for eclipsa and one symbol for queen moon that being like you know the little patterns on the cheeks right over here so like holy crap what the heck is going on again i feel as though this is more of a dream sequence or like a nightmare or a little foreshadowing of something that is gonna go down throughout this movie and oh my god i cannot wait to see how toffee was in the past and all this stuff oh god man i'm not ready for this but if we move on to the next image right over here we can see star and queen moon kind of like in this type of tar goo sort of thing as we can clearly see queen moon isn't really freaking out or anything like that but star is you know kind of i'm going to assume that perhaps star was trying to use her magic and it just backfired and star was like oh god what happened what is this so boom that's just my prediction for that little scene right over here then if we go ahead and move on boom we can go ahead and we see queen moon right over here going towards a book not sure if it's the book of spells or something like that but oh my god i cannot wait to see about queen moon and her history of coffee when she was younger and all that stuff oh, oh things are gonna go down continuing on we got some intense stuff right over here we can, we can see this hand and a lot of people are thinking this hand is probably eclipsa making the deal with queen moon right over here and if we go ahead and look at the logo you know it says star versus the force of evil season premiere but one thing that i'm kind of noticing about the logo itself is that you can clearly see star's wand and her wand is being consumed with like this dark goo kind of like how star's mom was so i'm going to think that perhaps just maybe just maybe Star ends up making a deal with Eclipsa herself and her wand gets consumed by darkness. Oh god, all this crazy stuff. Because right at the very end of the trailer, Queen Moon goes on to explain that Eclipsa is alive and I made a deal with her. And we can clearly see Eclipsa right over here making this really kind of creepy face with her tongue sticking out. Now, the way that we see her, it does look like she is covered by something. And I'm going to assume it is the crystal that Romulus has her trapped in. So it looks like Queen Moon is going to release her make a deal so they can go ahead and defeat toffee and perhaps star is going to end up making a deal with eclipsa and her wand is going to get consumed with darkness and oh my god there's so many things that could be happening right now that i don't even know oh whew, but man that was a lot to take in and a lot to go over so guys what i would love to know in the comment section below is you know what do you think is gonna go down do you have any theories any predictions is there something that i missed that i didn't go ahead and mention so leave all your comments in the comment section below and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up as that really helps me out and until next time guys i'm gonna go ahead and say bye pal we'll see you real soon <laughs>